everyone, this is Dr. Mary Gello. I am so excited to get on tonight because I want to talk about a topic that I had the opportunity to share uh, briefly uh, with some friends of mine. And, and I was talking to them about rear view paralysis. Rear view paralysis. And that is when you get stuck, you know, looking back. You know, when you get stuck looking back. It's like, what is back there that's keeping you stuck? What is back there that's keeping you stuck? That you don't want to let go. You don't want to let go. I, I know a lot of us are still dealing with the things that happened, you know, from 2020 and 2021. And now that we're in 2022, it's like, okay, how do we start over? How do we start over? But you know you can't go forward if you're going backwards. You can't go forward if you're stuck looking back. Looking back. I just believe that you, you got to begin to ask yourself, okay, what's back there that's keeping me stuck? What is back there that's keeping me stuck? Is it the pain? Of the crisis? Is it the pain of having lost loved ones? It, it is, what, what is it that has you so emotionally drained that you can't go forward? You can't go forward. And, and I can definitely understand, you know, if you've lost a loved one, that's different because it's going to take time to grieve the loss. It's going to take time to grieve the loss. But for those who are just dealing with just some things that you just don't really know why you can't let go of back there, there is a forward march. When I was in the military, you know, we used to do forward march, you know, forward march, you know, you kind of said it, you know, kind of, you know, to get people going forward. But there's something to be learned out of that process. You cannot go forward if you're continuing to look back. You know, I'm reminded of what Paul said in Philippians. And he says, forgetting those things which are behind me, I press toward the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. But, but I, I just want you to think about that. I just wanted to really share that with you really quick because I firmly believe that there's a lot of people not able to go forward because of being stuck in the past. Being stuck in the past and you really don't even understand why you can't go forward. And so then I would invite you to let go of the fear. Let go of the fear of letting go. Okay? Let go of the fear of letting go. Make up your mind that you are going to let go. You can't change anything that happened back here. Here. And so let's move forward. Let, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Make the decision to go forward. So you have to first let go of your fear. And then you have to decide to move forward because you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. And then you go, you need to, I believe, set a date. Set a date so that you can move forward. So that you can move forward. You have to put some kind of action in place so that you can move. You can get out of the starting block that has you stuck back here. And you've never left the starting block. And if you really want to make a change, begin to put a date to it. You know, there, there's a song that we're going to put a praise on it. Let's put a date on it. Let's get going. Let's get going. By putting a date 
and saying, okay, I, I, I decided that I, I'm tired of being tired of doing the same old thing. So when you get tired of doing the same old thing, you decide you got to do something different. And to do something different, you have to do something different. You have to do something different. And that is making a change. Making a change. I, I just wanted to share that with you and leave this word of encouragement with you. Because if you're stuck, the only way to get unstuck is to, number one, let go of that fear that's gotten you stuck. And then you have to be willing to move forward. And then you have to put a date. But go ahead and say, okay, it may sound crazy, but I, I'm going to put a date on. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to put a date, decide to move forward, and then I'm going to put a date on it. You know, I had a friend who said, okay, I had a, the fear of not being able to do this particular project. And I finally decided, hey, fear is not going to hold me back anymore. And so she decided to, at this date, and I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to put forth the effort, and I, I'm going to get it done. And you know what? She got it done. She got it done because she was willing to let go of that rear view paralysis that had her stuck back here. And she says, I'm moving forward. I'm going to make the change. And if she could do it, guess what? You can too. You can do it. You can do it. So I just wanted to encourage you, give you that word of encouragement. You can do it. Let go of the rear view paralysis. Again, this is Dr. Mary Gillum. And if you like my videos, please take time to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm quite sure that you're going to really enjoy the things that I've been posting. And again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for today.